While turning to Africa, tensions are rising in the Central African Republic, prompting the international community to consider a response to the nation's ongoing security crisis. One option, increasing the size of the African-led peacekeeping force in that country. VOS Gabe Jocelyn reports from Bangui. African soldiers on the ground in the Central African Republic are one of the last lines of defense against total chaos. The security situation here has rapidly deteriorated as the Selika rebel movement that seized power in March has struggled to keep control over its soldiers. There are about 2,000 peacekeepers in the region as part of the multinational force of Central Africa, known as FOMAC, but the number of troops is expected to grow to more than 3,500 as part of a transition to a new force supported by the United Nations. UN Special Representative Babakar Daya. Uh, for the time being, it's very difficult to, from this country to have institutional forces uh, that uh, can be dedicated to ensuring the security of the population. For the time being, it's very difficult. It's why we put a lot of expectations on this African force. In August, Selika forces raided the Boy Rob neighborhood of the capital, looking for armed groups loyal to the former president. Relief workers say 10 people were killed during the operations here and in other parts of the city. It's been calmer in recent days, but people are still on edge. George Fakita runs this knife workshop in the neighborhood. He says Selica soldiers went door to door, forcing residents to hand over money, telephones and other valuables. Now he's ready for the international community to step in. We need a big force to come here because we are suffering a lot under Selika. But peacekeepers say the neighborhood has long been a bastion for armed groups and security has always been an issue. Selika's leaders say they are determined to prevent those elements from re-emerging. Guy Samplis Kodege is Selika's spokesman. The arms are there. They have been disseminated among the civilian population, and it presents a security challenge. So we must take action to recover these weapons. The Selika government says it will continue the disarmament campaign around the country as the international community works on how to get more boots on the ground. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Bangui.